Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a full body version of Optimus Primal from the new Transformers Rise of the Beasts. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Optimus Primal, let's begin by drawing the face. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna begin by making a line that's gonna go down and up for an eyebrow. And then same thing here, I'm gonna go down and then up for an eyebrow. I'm gonna make a small curved line inside each one for the eyes. Next, I'm gonna make a curved line here for the nose and another curved line here. Then I'm gonna color in a black oval for the inside. We'll connect the line across and we'll put two lines across there. Next, I'll make a line that comes down, over, and then up. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and curve around. And same thing here, it's going to come up and curve around. And then I'm going to bring a line down on each side. Bring the line in here, and we're going to come across. Bring the line over and up, and bring another line over and then up. Bring a line up here, and a line up here. We're going to come up and over, up and over. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that comes down and up and one down and up for the fangs. And we'll make a couple square teeth across there. Next we'll draw a line that comes down. We're gonna go over and then up. We'll do the same thing, we'll make a couple fangs and then we'll make a line across with a couple teeth in there. Next, I'll make lines going to come out and in, and then one that's going to go out and then in. We'll bring it up here on each side. And then right here, I'm going to curve a line up. We're going to go up, and then I'm just going to bring this line down and around to here. Next, I'm going to bring a line that's going to go down. It's going to curve into here. We're going to come over, and we're going to bring it up to here. Make a line that's going to come down, over, and then up. Make a line that's going to come up, across, and then we're going to connect it. We'll make another one that's going to come up, over, and up. We'll do the same thing here, up, over, and then up. We'll make a point over and a little point and a little line inside here for the little maximal logo. We'll draw a line that goes up, over, and down. Same thing, up, over, and then down. And a line here and a line here. Make a little curved line here. Line's going to go down, over, and then up. Same thing, down, over, and up. Connect it here and here. Go up and then connect. Up and connect. Line here and a line here. Line down and over. Over and then up. I'm going to connect this line here and this line here. I'll do a little curve here and a little curve here. Now, to start on the body. So, I'm going to start by making a line that goes over at an angle. We're going to come up and then bring it up here. I'm going to curve this out. It's going to come up and then in here for part of the chest. And I'm going to curve this down. I'll stop it right about there. I'm going to curve a line that's going to come around. 
And we're going to go up here and then in. Make a line that's going to go down, over, and I'll curve it in. I'm going to bring this line down and up here. Then another line is going to come down and then over to here. I'll bring another point here and I'll bring this down. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line out, and I'm going to make it kind of pointy so it looks like there's fur on there. I want to make it kind of pointed down here, as in we're going to bring it up. I'm going to curve this line around. Then I'm going to go up, and then come back around. And I'll put a little curve here with a little curved rectangle shape. Next, I'm going to make lines comes down, over, and up. Low line that curves down and over. Another one down and over. And I'll put a few little extra lines on here. I'll make a line that's going to come down. We're going to curve it around and up. Do one here, it's going to go over and up. One here, it's going to go out at an angle, it's going to come up and in. And then one more here, it's going to come up, over, and then down. I'm going to draw a line that's going to go up and in. We'll just add a little detail. We'll curve it down and over. Go up and down. Up, down, and in. And then down and over. Now starting here, I want to make a line that's going to come up. We're going to go over and then bring it down. One right here at the line across. And we're going to make a line that's going to go up and down. And another one's going to come up and then out to here. We'll make a line here and here, and one here and here. Next, I'll bring this line up for the other shoulder. We'll curve it around here and down. We'll make a line that's going to come down with kind of like a curve. And we'll bring this over and up. We'll bring a line that's going to come out to here. Another one's going to come out and down. And then one more, it's going to curve around. I'll make one here and then down. Make lines going to come around here and then up. And I'm going to bring this line down. I'm going to take it to here and I'm going to curve it around. I'll bring another little line down to here and a little line down to here. Now, starting here, this is where the fur is going to be. So we're going to make it kind of pointed so we can show where the fur is. And then right here, I'm going to go down. We're going to come up, over, down, and back up. I want to make a line that's going to come out. We're going to come down and over. And we'll do a little line that comes down and over here. Line's going to come up and over and in, up, over and in, and up, over and down. Make a little rectangle shape here. We're going to go over, down, and in. A little line right here, too. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to curve this around. We'll come up and then in. I'll make two lines here, and then a little curved line around here at the bottom. And a little rectangle shape there. I'll make lines going to come down. We're going to go over and up. We'll make it go down, over like this, and then one more here. 
right here I'm gonna go down we'll come across and up another one down over and then up with two lines down now we're gonna make the leg so the legs gonna be kind of like going back from the angle that he's at so we're gonna go down over and up and we'll do another little rectangle or square shape kind of like that and we'll do one more around here we'll do two square shapes here and a little line here We'll make a little or two little kind of square shapes for one of the toes. Another one here, one right there, and one over here. Now this other one, the way this one's gonna be, it's gonna be much higher. So I'm gonna bring this up, and we're gonna come down. We'll go over, and we'll make kind of like a squared shape. Draw two little square shapes here, and a little bit of a curved kind of furry line here. Make another couple square shapes here, and we'll make one right there, and we're going to put just a couple toes over here, kind of like you can't really see it from the angle. Now we just want to come in here and add a few more little details. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to add two lines in here with a line down for the tongue. And a few more lines in here. I'm going to make two little points here. And we're going to add just a bunch of like different broken lines in here just to show some texture and different things. We'll do the same thing over here too. I'm going to do that kind of same thing over here as well, just to show this kind of different texture. We'll do it on here too, just kind of lots of broken lines in here. We'll add some extra little lines all over here. We'll add a few little details like some little curves and some little lines across here. We'll add some more of these kind of like broken lines on this chest area here. And we'll just kind of come in here and add some extra little lines and some different spots just to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Gonna add some little lines kind of on the hands and everything. Make some lines coming up on the knuckles and things like that. And no really right or wrong way to do this, just kind of add a few little details just to kind of make it pop even more. And there you go, there is your drawing of Optimus Primal. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.